Hello again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. A few of you have noticed me using the Tax Systems Paintwork Cleanser in a few of the videos, and I want to showcase because it's not your typical panel prep that you would think of, like maybe an IP solution. This here is great for vehicles that just came in um, that have unknown traffic film on the side, uh, maybe old waxes or sealants. A lot of the car washes today are going with the hot wax treatment and that just builds up and builds up. So if you bring it in, you wanna do work on the car, especially if you're doing polish, it's going to clog your pads inc incredibly quickly and impede your, your progress. Something like this can be used right after a wash while it's still wet and I'll show you that. And it can also be used as a panel prep before protection as well. But with the super micro abrasives, it's not something I'll, I'll recommend on very soft clear. Uh, I have used it successfully on hard clear to clear the way for a ceramic coating or a, a sealant. So without further ado, let me show you what this product can do. The Tax Systems Paint Work Cleaner makes for simple light uh, decontamination which removes oxidation, contaminants, old car waxes, sealants, other type of protected layers, and it uses a super fine friction technology, super fine particles. Uh, after the paint work cleaner, the paint will be degreased, it'll be smooth, it'll be ready for paint protection and correction. So this is a car brought in right after it has been washed, it's still wet, and it's the perfect time to get out the paint cleaner. You can't skip the clay portion of the decontamination. That's one thing it will not remove, bonnet contaminants. However, the road film that clay will not um, remove completely, this will, and this will create a clean slate. So combine this with the clay bar or a clay mitt, and you will be ready for correction uh, or protection. I, I never recommend decontaminating and using a clay bar without a, a, some sort of a polish or a correction before applying protection, but that's completely up to you. And all I'm doing here with a microfiber applicator is applying a dime-sized drop of the cleaner and working a three-foot section at a time. Pressure uh, it's going to be the same thing as if you were washing your car. Not a ton of pressure. You don't want to scratch the car. You just want to remove traffic film. When you're done, if you're outside, hose it off or use the pressure washer. If you're inside, I'm just going to use the uh, Merrillix uh, sprayer here and a little bit of O&R or rinseless wash. Dry it off and you're good to go for whatever you want to do next because you have a clean slate for whatever you have planned. And to be completely transparent, I do want to show you the claying uh, procedure cannot be skipped over or forgotten about. I'll go over the bottom of the car here and show you there are bonded contaminants um, that it will not remove. It's not made for that type of work. All right, so there you can see some of the bonded contaminants removed. Now the panels are squeaky clean. I do want to show you how effective it is in a short demonstration here. We're going to use seal and shine, and we all know this is a benchmark. It's very tenacious. Uh, we're not going to remove an old or an aged wax or sealant. We're going to remove fresh seal and shine, and how difficult that is, and how I've showed you over a lot of my videos. So proper preparation of the panel, I'm never going to skip that, so we're going to clean it. I'm going to quick polish it. We'll use an IPA solution, make sure there's no residue on there, and we'll get seal and shine applied.
All right, we're ready to go. We're ready to apply seal and shine. I have an area masked off and we'll apply seal and shine to the whole area. Then I'll run a piece of masking tape right down the middle of that area and we'll remove half of that section with the tax system paint cleaner. All right, we'll give that the evening to cure. We'll come back and the slickness and the shine and gloss already increased. So let's run a masking tape line right down the middle. You'll see the seal and shine is so stubborn it won't even let the adhesive of the masking tape stick to it. I want to also show you the slickness with these two blocks here before we remove half of that section with the paint work cleaner. All right, this is a bit different from what I showed you at the beginning of the video on a wet car. On a dry panel, you can still use it as well. All you need is a damp microfiber applicator, a damp microfiber towel, and a dry microfiber towel. Put a couple pea size or dime size drops on the applicator and massage it into the panel. Grab the damp microfiber, clean up a bit, grab the dry microfiber, buff to perfection, and you're done. Now, let's grab those two blocks again and do the slickness test once more. And another way I could show you the seal and shine is gone is by just applying water. We all know how seal and shine beads and the area is completely stripped. And there you go. A lot of you have asked, what's the best product to use to remove waxes and sealants? It's not easy. Well, here's your product. And that will bring us to the final thoughts segment of the video, guys. The paintwork cleanser is my go-to if I need to strip a panel for correction or for a bit of protection. Something I wouldn't use in between steps of a correction. I would still just use an IPA solution or panel prep. Not needed for that. But if you have something that you're not sure if there's an old wax or a sealant, or if you think there's a lot of traffic film on the side of the car, on the back of the car, this will take it off. This is very effective and something I recommend. I'll put a link down below. Brian from Apex Detail. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. I'll catch you guys in the next video.